we diagnose Marfan syndrome still, by and large, based on what we see in looking at a person clinically, examining them. We also rely a lot on the family history. Uh, the clinical evaluation involves typically multiple specialists, uh, a generalist, typically a medical geneticist, who has the broad picture of what Marfan syndrome is and can look at the uh, skin, the skeleton, um, listen to the heart, uh, take a peek at the eyes, and begin to put the uh, scenario together. Obviously, the family history, if there's someone clearly with Marfan syndrome in the family, is a big clue as well. But since the gene was discovered in 1991, uh, the possibility of actually examining the gene, which is uh, called fibrillin-1, uh, to look for specific genetic changes arose and is used increasingly in solidifying the diagnosis. Uh, there are some difficulties. Changes in this gene cause conditions that look very, very different from Marfan syndrome. So simply finding a genetic change in this very large gene doesn't mean you have Marfan syndrome. You could have a number of other things, or it could be a normal variant that really doesn't cause any mischief whatsoever. But we do use genetic testing uh, in, in an increasing number of situations in the clinic to uh, solidify the diagnosis of Marfan syndrome.